G'day. Today what we're going to talk about is increasing your productivity with these two time management tips. And I'm sorry for the raspy sound of my voice. I've been doing a lot of coaching in the last couple of days. Anyway, ah, time management. The most popular training course of all time. Thousands of books have been written about it for people who are usually too busy to read them. There are more gurus than you can shake a stick at with more theories than you can possibly even remember. We all know what it feels like. The time it takes to wade through the pile of work we confront every day doesn't ever seem to be enough. Everything is important and everything is priority one. A category, call it what you want. It's all in the top box mark, do it now. And we can't, not without working ourselves into the ground. Quality starts to slip and even simple things take longer when we're exhausted. Now look, you can read about the 17 top tips on time management online if you have time. You can find out about the Pomodoro technique or the avocado technique or the kumquat technique, I don't care, there's many of them, which all involve working for 30 minutes and resting for five minutes or Moscow, which I am gonna talk a little bit about in a minute, which categorize things into must do, should do, ought to do and would like to do. And you can read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Managers by Stephen Covey. I will say about that book, it changed my life when I read it 25 years ago. It'll probably change yours now. And you can fill out a daily task sheet to find out what it is you actually do in a day so you can reduce unproductive time. You can avoid distractions, although I'm not really sure about that one. You know, stay away from your employees, your kids, your significant other or your cat while you're working. You can follow the 80-20 rule where 80% of your best results come from working on 20% of the things that you could work on. I could go on and on, and I frequently do, as you know, because you watch these, but in the interest of time management, I won't. Over many years of wasting time, being unproductive, and generally failing miserably at keeping records of where I spend my time, I've come to realize two important things about being productive, which I will now share with you. Now, I bring them to you in the sure knowledge that you're going to ignore them completely, and you're just gonna carry on as you were before, chasing your tail and disappearing in ever-decreasing circles till you disappear up your own ass. That's what you wanna do, so that's what you wanna do. Such is the fate of people like me who preach about time management to busy people like you. Here are two time management techniques that I use for increasing my productivity. Now they may or may not work for you. The first is to recognize that my productivity is not actually up to my mind, it's up to my body. And what I mean by that is there are times during the day when I am really, really productive, getting through work like a hot knife through butter, making clear and sensible decisions occasionally, writing great stuff and just generally, you know, powering along and then there are other times when I am wading through surf struggling to finish even the simplest of tasks the quality of my output is so bad I often have to redo it well what we have and the reason why this happens is we've got these things called circadian rhythms now these rhythms regulate blood flow throughout our body the more powerful the rhythm, the more blood to the muscles, and you guessed it, the old brain. So tip number one, work out when you are most productive during the day, and then schedule the brain aching stuff, the creative stuff, the tough stuff, to be carried out during those peak periods. Use a free and amazing app called Wonderlist to help you with the scheduling. Wonderlist is like a mosquito. It just keeps buzzing you about the things that you need to do or you're late in doing until you swat it by doing the damn thing. You can share the tasks with other people and then they enter when they have completed. It simply is actually incredible and it's so bloody annoying. You will find that you have several up zones and down zones during the day. I, for example, am alert, decisive and productive between five in the morning and 11.30 in the morning. Then I kind of drop off, so I have an early lunch. Now, because I'm a bit older than most of you, I have what I call a reflection pause from 12 o'clock to about one o'clock, which basically means I lie down on one of the couches here at the nest and I conk. Then I get back on track from one o'clock to three o'clock, going like a train, and then it drops again. So I have another reflection pause for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm deeply unconscious, I might add. And, but then I'm good to go from 3.30 until six, when I leave the co-working space and then I get another peak loading at about 9 o'clock which lasts through till about 10.30 and that's when I actually do my most creative stuff because I've got my headphones on and all I'm worrying about is nothing really, I'm just thinking. I get so much more done when I dance to the rhythm and I don't fight it. And while we're on the subject of the body, you have to stay hydrated. This means drinking eight decent sized glasses of water every day. 
about one and a half liters minimum. Cups of tea and coffee are not included in the calculation. And the next simple tip, really simple, is to classify. Not everything you do is equally important and urgent. I'm not a big fan of the four quadrant model that Stephen Curry proposed, you know, important and urgent, important and not urgent, not important and urgent, and not important and not urgent. It's a little bit complicated. I prefer one that I learned just recently, which has made a dramatic impact on my productivity and my team around me. It's called Mosco, I mentioned it earlier. The M stands for must do, and you've got the little O. The S stands for should do. The C stands for could do, and another little O. And the W stands for would like to do. Must do, should do, could do, would like to do. It's so easy. Make an Excel task list with three columns. And in column one, put everything that you need to do. In column two, put a due date. And then in column three, put an M, an S, a C, or a W. And then just transfer all the M's, the must-do's, to your wonder list and do this every day. Why is it so useful? Because it gets past this kind of notion that the due date, which in a lot of cases you actually decide what it is, is the most important parameter. And it's not always the case. Some really important things do need to be started now because you must do them, even if they're not due for a couple of months. Once you've finished an immediate must-do or you've started working on a longer range must-do, you can go back to the list move a couple of the should do's, which is the next category, up to the must do list, and then put them on wonder list. So your to-do list only ever consists of things that you must do. So just to repeat, one, make an Excel spreadsheet and list all of the things that you need to get done. Number two, give those things a date for completion. Number three, give them an M, an S, a C, or a W. Number four is add the must do's to your wonder list. And number five, when you've knocked off a must do, go back to the list and move something from the should category to the must do category. Put that on wonder list and then number seven, rinse and repeat. That's it, I'm never gonna write a book about it or produce an expensive three day course about it. Although, I haven't thought about that. Anyway, this one is free. It's incredibly powerful and it's quickly going to become the business habit that changed your life. So if you like the topic, we have an upcoming online course that will teach you in detail everything that you need to know about getting on your feet, being organized now, and starting a business using your skills from scratch. The link is in the description. Now don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It'll help support the channel. If there's anything that you'd like for me to talk about, drop it in the comments box. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be part of the notification squad to get notified every time we upload because I respond to questions in the first hour. I'll see you in the next video and I'll catch you later.